episode of those smack talking guys no of opinions on games music culture and current events these guys cover it all all while humiliating each other this is generation flip don't forget make sure to drop a like and subscribe and now grabbing it up here's your hosts what's going on guys Thank you for tuning in to Generation Flip Podcast. We've got a great show for you guys today. Segment two of the Crypto, crypto Madness. 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 But uh, madness. let's bring in my boy from San Jose, Mr. Big Brown. What's going down, Mr. Big Brown? I'm excited about today because I got two guys that we met uh, in our Oculus uh, room. It's a cool uh, cafe uh, room that we put to- Well, we didn't put together. We found and we jumped in and learned a lot of great information in such a short period of time. Um, but I, I'm excited, man. Uh, oh, yeah. I'm excited. Baseball starting. Uh, That's I'm excited. right, baby. I, I'm excited. I'm going to Cabo next week, baby. Do a little Cabo wobble up in Cabo. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I'm excited. I got a lot of things cooking, man. So, um, yeah, man. But, this this well, without, let me let me let me let me add something because I mean I, I want to let you guys all know like the last episode I, I I'm a newbie to this crypto crap. And a lot of people out there want to get in tune, in touch with this stuff, um, learn it, and get better in it. And uh, like Brown said, you know, we both jumped into VR and we got into this group. These two guys, uh, you know, really interesting guys. Um, I mean, much love to them, man, because they, they, yeah. they've done a lot of work for us. A lot of, you know, interesting uh, uh, information. But right. uh, you know, you know, we gotta do it, Brown. We gotta bring them in, all the fashion way, baby. You know what I'm saying, Brown? <laughs> oh, let's, so, baby. Let's welcome Funes and Mr. Gaines on the microphones live for you, baby. What's going on, fellas? <laughs> What's up? What's going on? What's going on? Thanks for coming Good. on, guys. Really, really appreciate it. You know, I. I we found you guys in this crypto world, man. It's it's a madness thing, and a lot of newbies. You know what I mean? I, like myself, trying to learn this this uh, this madness, man. It's just uh, we need to make money, bro. And th- this is the uh, interesting way. You know, like Brown said, the four hundred one is pretty much obsolete now, man. You got to start le- learning this shit and, and, and playing with your money, man. So what's going on, Finesse? Tell me a little bit about yourself, brother. Where are you from, and what you do, baby? Man, this is uh, K Funes, man. Born and raised in San Francisco, man. I'm from the Bay Area, uh, San Francisco native, 33. And uh, yeah, I've been in the crypto space uh, since around like 2017, man. Nice. Kind of fell into it um, just off of a news article in the San Francisco Chronicle. Um, and uh, yeah, man, I started from the ground floor just trying to learn about it myself, man. And I'm here now, and I can say, uh, I'm not so much of a beginner, but I'm not so much of an expert. An expert, but uh, we're making money, man, and that's that's what counts. You know what I mean? Right, right, right. And your boy over here, Mr. Gaines. What's up? Tell us a little about yourself, Mr. Gaines. Yeah, man. What's going on? What's going on, man? Um, so I've been in the crypto space, man, for about uh, I would say since 2020. At the end of 2020, when I saw something moving in the crypto space, man, it was a uh, you know it was. It was on a three, four thousand dollars a coin. <laughs> you know what I mean? That wow. Once you once you hear that, and then you start seeing it move to ten thousand, man. That's when you start seeing. No, no, wait, something's up, man. Something's up in here. So uh, yeah, yeah, man, I've been in the space for for not too long though. Not too long. K Funes have been um, exposed a little bit more than me, but I uh, I also do real estate. Um, I do real estate as well on this uh, like uh, on the as as my day job pretty much, and at night it's crypto. So it's twenty four hours for me, man. It's like where do i fit in sleep <laughs> wow man that's a lot of mad time bro i'm telling you bro that's that's a lot of time invested <laughs> hey and, and and i and i know he ain't bullshit because my shit goes off my on my telegram that shit goes off at 2 33 in the morning I say, god damn what the hell's going on these guys are making moves out <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Don't sleep, bro. No, he don't, yeah. That's right. Money don't sleep. That's well, the key. Well, well let me sleep. let me start by saying this because I mean, I, like I like you were saying. I mean, you're you're there 24 seven pretty much, and it takes a lot of time, a lot of effort. I was explaining this to my man Brown over here this morning. I said, man, I I just don't have the fucking time to sit there and get up in the morning, do my thing, and get on the computer and look at these numbers and stuff. 
person like me, I mean, it's like I literally got to hire somebody to fucking manage this shit. And it's hard because, you know, you're getting somebody else to manage your money and trusting them with your your money, your account, you know what I mean? And I get it, I mean, but uh, you got to get somebody or find somebody that's really trustworthy to do something like that. In you guys' case, you guys know this shit right off the back. You learned it. You, 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 you finessed it, you know what I'm saying? So... <laughs> Tell me a little bit, uh, 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 Finesse, how do you how do you make the time for this, dude? I mean, like to be honest, bro, it's a it's a little bit of an addiction. When I first started in the beginning, I would wake up in the middle of the night and just check my numbers. I mean, hey, yo, what the fuck? I, I don't know. It's just it's it's a, it's a lifestyle, I guess. Now, you know what I mean? It's it's just educating yeah. yourself on a daily because there's something new every day. So uh, today's news, tomorrow it might be like last week's news. So it's just a constant update. You know what I mean? You're constantly just updating yourself on the market, what's happening, what's flopping. You know what I mean? And what's what's going to the moon. I mean, uh, it's super easy to get overwhelmed with this. Um, it is definitely not easy, but it's just something you just got to dedicate yourself to. And having right. a great community uh, definitely helps. You know what I mean? Because it's yeah. not a one it's not a one man band. You know, but if you have a, a good community to go to, uh, yeah. that definitely helps. You know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. And, and I, I can contest to that because just a short period of time I've been with these guys, and a lot of these guys give me great information, right? Bits and pieces is what it takes. And once again, like I said earlier, and we were talking prior, this ain't an old man's game. This is a young man's game. It's a young yeah. cat's game. You know, you, you really got to put the time in. And, and uh, I, I'm, I'm kind of like Funes, man. I'm getting bit right now where I'm thinking about it. I'm dreaming about the shit, right? I, I, I'll, I'll wake up at 2 in the morning because my phone went off, and I'll look, and I'll say, I, I can see Funes or someone say, it's to the moon. And I'm thinking, God damn, I got to get off this shit. I got to go to that one. I got to get to the moon because now I'm not scrambling. I have a day job. I'm a general contractor. I do commercial and residential. I'm okay. I feel, I, I'm okay, but I need to get to the next level. Now, do I want to get to the next level swinging the hammer? Uh-uh. I want to get to the next level doing something that I, I, I love, that I'm passionate about. And and that's the, I, I don't know if it's a problem with me, but when I get passionate, I'm passionate. I'll spend the money, right? When I got into construction, I had all these guys, oh, these tools would always break. And I, Well, you guys are buying fucking garbage tools. If you guys love what you do, buy the good shit. You know, don't, right. don't, don't spare no expense. And, and there's no – there's no – excuse for not doing hard work if you want to get to the neville you got to put the time in so like hey, Funes mom, said yeah go I, ahead i'm sorry to cut you out big round my mom has a saying el barato vale mas you know what i mean that that means that the cheap is going to cost more you know what I'm saying? right yeah exactly that's it man i, I gotta learn that one that's a, that's a good one because you you pay for what you get that's another thing in for real sure. estate you pay for what you get baby you know, and, and, and we live in a volatile market uh, and, and talk about the volati volatility of the crypto game. Uh, these You could get your balls smashed one day, but guess what? You're popping willies the next, you know, and, and, and I could never understand the volatility of it. You know what I mean? And that's the good thing about our group that I can I, – I, your guys' group that you, I'm learning from your guys' group is that everybody – has different opinions and nobody's afraid to say one thing or another or so i always go in into those meetings knowing that there's going to be a debate you know so i'm doing my research on luna uh us uh ust i think is USDT. what it is dt yeah I'm, I'm doing my research on these guys are reading what it's about flips talk flip loves seek uh which is another vr coin or whatever that's out there and we do research on that and mm. and uh, so it's just that's what I love about this game is that the unknown is out there. And I could be a poor man today, but I could be a rich motherfucker in a week. To me, this is an independent game, but you got coaches that you can listen to if you get into a good group and you're going to get bits and pieces and you can take that information. And, and now we're just talking about the basics of the game. Now, when I get into these meetings in these rooms, I see these fucking charts flying. I see these analytics. I hear these guys talking about uh, – uh, I, they talk about so much shit. I don't even know what the fuck they're talking about. But they're talking about staking shit. They're talking about you know this and that. And and those are the things that if you want to get into the game, you know these guys got a great meeting room to have on Oculus uh, uh, on big screen that will post some of their stuff. Coinbase and uh, Kraken, like my boy over here, Brown said, 
Now, between so when the you two, say, when you say a wallet flip, uh, you mean exchange. You want to, yeah, wanna okay, the, the okay. perfect exchange. Okay. The, the names that you mentioned right now, flip Coinbase and Kraken, are exchange. They're not wallets. Okay, so what would be a wallet would be, <laughs> yeah. uh, uh, what's that external? Um, Meta, MetaMask, so, uh, MetaMask. Yeah, I'll, yeah, I'll butt in right here. Um, so you have to uh, like first and foremost, right? Uh, you have to understand what the differentiating the difference between a uh, decentralized wallet and your actual bank, which is a centralized wallet, pretty much. Um, in you know, to put it into two spectrums, right? A centralized bank is a, a bank that holds your money, so therefore it's an exchange that holds your money. If you have your money into an, a, a decentralized exchange, sorry, decentralized wallet, it means that you have it on to a Web3. So this is where it gets a little tricky or a little bit more knowledgeable, right, that you have to get. Uh, it's pretty much you have to understand that the Internet that we're living through now uh, since 1999 till to the, till now, mm -hmm. it's Web2. It's called Web2. Right. But before 1999, 1998, we were living in Web1. So we're now entering a new phase of the internet, which is called the Web 3, 3.0. Web 3.0 means that you as yourself are responsible for your own funds. <laughs> your, your, your number one response, you are your own bank. So meaning if you, have your, you are your own bank and you have your, your funds, let's just say on a MetaMask wallet that you have in, in, in your possession with a 15 word key phrase, that nobody on this planet has but yourself, right. and you are responsible for that, then that's the key factor of putting your money in the bank, that they can lock you out essentially just like Canada did, and also Ukraine and Russia because of whatever uh, problems they're having with their own government. When it's on the Web3, there's no way, there's no way you can stop it. <laughs> it you are your own bank. So right. if I send you money, it'll get there in Bitcoin within 30 minutes. No ifs, buts, or whatever. And now, oh, wow. and it. now the government's <laughs> trying to step in and tax everybody, right? Is that that's that's what I yeah, hear? I mean, they're course, trying to man. make regulations <laughs> yeah. and shit like that. You know, uh, they have to understand sure. it first. You know, they, they really yeah. don't yeah. understand what this the, space is yet. You know, right? The government wants the government is there to pretty much you know regulate everything for the good of the people, but then the people have determined that we don't want part of the government. The government was only established, um, you know, for a certain time. But if you look at other countries, they're, you know, they're run by by a lot of communist countries. Right. You know, we're on YouTube now, but, you know, we're, this, is the, this is the first world experiment where we have ac an actual freedom or quote unquote freedom in the US, uh, the US United States, you know what I mean? Right. So this is like, this is like very, this get up gets up in the realm of 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 you being your own um identity you you being your own empowerment and you being your own person and governing your own self right without an, another another government or country governing yourself right right so, uh, i i'm all for yeah. that shit, man i think everybody doesn't want to get taxed you know what i'm saying but it is what it is exactly. so so okay back to wallets so the the wallet is pretty much a digital wallet, right? Digital wallet. Yeah. And uh, break break a little bit of that down. I mean, you go in there and, and, and the exchange is, you know, you put your debit card or your routing number to your checkings and bam, you're hooked up, throw your ID and pretty much that personal information is there. It takes what, maybe a week for it to clear or what? No, so it takes a few days, um, to be honest. Um, but with a MetaMask wallet, let's just say um, the, the thing is, once you once you give up the U.S. dollar, you're trading in crypto. So it's just like you going from crypto to the euro, but instead of the euro, you're actually going to crypto. You know uh, what I mean? Once right. you start, once you start using that that currency, you don't need the U.S. dollar anymore. You know what I mean? So that's why the U.S. government is so scared of this it's unstoppable at this point it, it's already the market cap of bitcoin is already bigger than than the turkish um, turkish currency you know what i mean it's wow surpassed right right now it's at 1.9 trillion dollars like Say that's, what? that's incredible you know wow. the u.s dollar i believe don't call me on this but i think it's 10 10 trillion so wow like, it's, with inflation it's getting up there, man. so 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 let's do so i, I know where flip's going with this 
So if somebody wanted to start, the first thing they should do is find the right wallet. Yes, exactly. Correct. You want to find the right wallet. And the reason why I'm saying that is because I'm trying to find the right wallet. <laughs> and then once you find the right wallet, then you go in and you find your 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 Kraken or your Coinbase. Because that's where you transfer your wallet money into the exchange, correct? Yeah. So, so what it is? So, yeah. So, an exchange. You what you have to do is, uh, like, pretty much um, figure out a way to to unramp your fiat money. So, how you unramp your fiat money is through an exchange. Whether they require KYC, whether you they require your identity to be, you know, identified. Um, some such as. Uh, I mean, I'm not sponsored by them or anything, but KuCoin, KuCoin is my absolute favorite uh, because they don't require KYC, uh, nor do they um, ask for anything really. Uh, you can start trading with them and you can hold your crypto there, but with crypto, it's not recommended for you to hold in your your cryptos on any exchange because if they get hacked, your, your crypto is gone too. Well, you know well I, mean? I heard that so, Metal Mask has one of the uh, serious security features where where it doesn't really get hacked um they they, they have they're one of the uh, wallets out there they're pretty pretty solid i was uh checking this out on, on youtube this morning and going through what are the be best wallets of 2022 on youtube and the second one the guy was mentioning was metamask and so i, I was actually myself going to be interested in setting up a wallet with metamask now metamask you can do the exchange within MetaMask, am, am I right? And MetaMask um, is a very important part to getting onto mm -hmm. other exchanges also. You're going to need MetaMask. So MetaMask, uh, when you're on a website or whatever, is going to be called an extension wallet. So your extension wallet is something that you do need to buy smaller coins, bigger coins. Uh, you're going to have to have an exchange. You're going to have to send your crypto from an exchange or wherever you have it into a MetaMask to use it on certain sites. So let's just say you wanted to stake your money somewhere and uh, that website that you have isn't supported by anything but an extension wallet. That's when you would have to have your MetaMask and you would have to send your money to your MetaMask, extract that from whatever website you're using, put it into that website, stake your coin, trade your coin or what have you. Yeah, that I could never understand that because when I when I set up Kraken, I go, all right, I'm gonna put my money in here now, yeah. and I'm all, fuck, I can't do it. How come I can't find it? Super tricky. It's a lot of it's a lot of different steps, you know. And some people get yeah. intimidated by it and just give up, you know. Yeah, um, yeah. It's it's a frustrating it, process sometimes, and it's it's um it's gut wrenching sometimes because you won't see your money for like 10 15 minutes and you're just worried and wondering where it's at but i mean the system yeah. and, the, and the blockchain it's going to work itself out for your money to get put where it's at if you put the right address some people have lost thousands of dollars by not by putting uh an o instead of a zero mm -hmm. and that gets to get sent to somebody totally else you know somebody oh not you wow your money gets sent to them you know so it's really crucial to understand uh your address your wallet address also you know Wow. Interesting. I, there's yeah. so many. I, you hear stories about people that lose their passwords and it's gone, right? Emotional damage. You know? Yeah. <laughs> straight up, gone? baby. Straight yeah. up. Yeah, 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 man. Yeah, you know, I, and I wanted, to add, I, I wanted to add to that. So um, with the MetaMask wallet, once you have your MetaMask wallet, you have to understand uh, MetaMask is based on Ethereum. And Ethereum is one of the most um, uh, decentralized. It's the most decentralized um, as of now, right? Uh, networks that there are out there. But there's there's a, a few a few dozen networks out there. But with MetaMask, the beautiful thing about MetaMask is that you can actually um, there's a website out there. Um, I'll give you this free gem, Chainlist.org, where you can plug in their uh, the 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 type of network that you want to trade on. So let's just say you want AVAX. You plug in AVAX and you plug that in and it'll get added to your MetaMask. But then obviously you have to know, this is when K Funes was saying, if you send it to the wrong thing, you're screwed. If you send ETH and you are and you send it to a, let's just say- um, Polygon? You know, if you put in a, a yeah, Polygon or whatever, it, I think it, it gets sent to this. I think that the MetaMask wallet is very essential that it actually categorizes it and it drives it straight to ETH. But if you send it to the wrong address, yeah, you know, obviously that can get mixed up in the, in the way there. But um, 
MetaMask has pretty much all these networks that you can add, which is beautiful, <laughs> in yeah. my opinion. Okay. okay. So you, yeah, so yeah. you guys, uh, MetaMask is, is uh, I know you're not promoting or yeah, but that, that's a pretty good solid no, wallet. No. And we're not MetaMask. giving financial <laughs> advice here, guys. So no, you guys at no. home, you know, this is all at your own risk and do your own research. <laughs> Keep an open mind, you know, of course, and do your own research. Like myself, I'm a newbie. I'm learning this crap. You know, I, I, I want to invest some money into this. And it's very interesting because the first thing I've learned out of his social uh, a group there was that you want to create a foundation. And for a beginner like myself, it sounds, it sounds you know, uh, uh, you know, the truth, you know, it's real because you, I want to create that foundation where I could start running shit, learning shit, and doing, you know, what you guys do, you know, make money, of course, everybody wants sure. to do that, you know what I mean, so, yeah. the way you explain, uh, the way you explain it was foundation in, uh, what, what, what two things, uh, Bitcoin and uh, Eureka, uh, or, uh, Ethereum. Uh, Ethereum, Ethereum, so, uh, tell me a little more. Uh, I, I say this in a lot of my rooms, and I, uh, I think someone told me this, the way I'm about to explain it to you, and, and it just made sense to me, so I just relay the good word. I feel like uh, for a newcomer, for anybody who has zero in their portfolio, it's kind of like building a house, you know, and you got to start your house with a solid foundation. And when it comes to crypto, these solid foundations, you can find them. I mean, when you go to crypto market cap or anybody in the crypto space will tell you that Bitcoin and Ethereum has kind of been paving the way from the beginning, you know, so... Uh, this isn't financial advice or anything, but this is just kind of what I just tell people. This is this is my beliefs that you should build your portfolio off of something stable, something that has been proven over time and that has um, utility. And to me, in my opinion, that's Bitcoin and Ethereum. Uh, Bitcoin has been tested over time. It's never been hacked. People have tried to hack it. It's uh, changed a lot of the world's economy. Uh, whether some people like to accept that or not, countries like to accept that or not, and uh, just the things that uh, Ethereum, the th the things that uh, have been built on top of Ethereum are just crazy. And uh, the the powerhouse that's behind Ethereum has a lot more coming for the world. And I really think it's going to change it. So uh, to me, uh, any newcomer, I think, should look into Bitcoin and Ethereum first. So there you have it, guys. That's the, the that's the first uh, couple of tips to learn. You know, build your foundation. That's most important for your newbies out there, like myself. You know, and build that foundation. Uh, that you were talking about, Flip, for people coming in too. I want to say that you really have to understand risk management. Right. You know that this isn't a get rich quick scheme. You have to understand that you are going to take a loss. Well, and uh, you're going to be in charge of how lost that that how big that loss is. So you got to understand that it's not always going to be sunny days. You know, the market is super volatile. Don't ever put in anything that you're not willing to lose, you know, right. um, because I think that's the biggest thing. It all sounds good and dandy when we talk about it. Uh, but there has been a lot of rainy days, you know, and um yeah, you, you're going to learn from a lot of the things. But if you can learn from somebody else, you're 10 steps ahead of the game. Yeah. Right. Yeah. That, that's that's like raising kids. I wish my kids would listen to what I tell them. And they'll never listen. And then when the time yeah. comes, they're like, should have listened to Pop. As I told you. But, but you guys are paving the way for us, the newbies. Right? Oh, definitely. Sometimes, sometimes you can teach an old dog new tricks. And I'm that old dog trying to learn some new shit. You know, yeah. because it's, it's moving. And it's moving fast, man. And like I said, it excites me because, um, you know, it, it, it requires to do work. It requires to follow the market. It, it requires to find out why all of a sudden Ethereum is dropping or picking up or Dogecoin or Luna or whatever it is. When you start seeing that something's going on, if people are buying the shit out of it, it's got to be something, right? At least in my mind there is, right? You got to find out what the buzz is. You know, and then the buzz will get put out and then things will taper and then something else will come out and then it'll drop. Um, or if they want to shift the balance of how much coins are out there, you know, they'll dump them back into the market. I, it's just I love the whole cha the cat and mouse game because like, I kind of feel that that's what it's like. You know, you're chasing it. Um, but at the same time, like like everybody knows, basically it's legalized gambling. We're banking that something's going to hit. And when we can capitalize on it, fantastic. But you're also, like old Mike Tyson says, everybody's got a plan until they get punched in the face, right? And then when you get punched in the face, you're like, what did I do? All right, regroup. 
follow the next trend or look so, for the next thing. So, so when you say what? about gambling, you see my, my boy Crypto Gains takes it to a whole nother level with the TA. Right. You know, it's not so much of a gamble if you have tools that you can use to try mm -hmm. to predict the market you know mm -hmm. what i'm saying so there's a there's many ways to train yourself and discipline yourself on how to make some of this money you know right. and that's one right. thing that my boy crypto gains has opened my eyes to because i never really thought that i could um uh you know um what's the word I'm looking for? um like just insert technical analysis to my Bitcoin and my crypto. I never really thought of that. So he's really opened my eyes to like technical analysis and looking at uh, like a crypto chart and really trying to dissect it piece by piece. Right. Speaking of crypto so, chart, um, uh, I just learned uh, a buddy of mine was talking about. I actually was in yesterday. I was in a VR um, network and a guy I met named Nash. Um, I mentioned to him Seek. VR Nash 110. Yeah. Yeah, I bumped into him, dude. And That's he was boy, telling man. me, he said that he invested a while back into that company Seek. And so when he looked it up and he said, Oh wow, it, it picked up, you know. Um, I was like, Well, what do you what do you think about this? I mean, should I should I, you know, do it or what well, what's the deal? And he's like, look, you know, this is how it works. And he break it down, he broke it down for me, you know what I mean? So props give up to uh Nash 101, I believe. That's what that's 110, his one one zero yeah. Crypto yeah. Nash. yeah yeah he's pretty really really intelligent about the uh, cryptocurrency too man I, I, that's I tell another you. guy who I learned a lot from man for sure yeah. right right so um these these VR rooms man I, I'm glad I got to convince Brown to buy it, to get one man because I mean it's an interesting thing man I, besides all the you know fun gadgets in it and everything I mean you go you get into uh, communities like this you know what I mean and, and yeah. it's very helpful. You know, so, yeah. you know, props to you guys taking time and, and feeding this stuff out. Yeah, I, I just wanted to revert on, on you know, touch bases on, on a very important factor mm -hmm. uh, that you were saying. So, um, you know, most people do are aware of, uh, let's just say Dow Jones, um, you know, obviously the, the whole stock markets and everything. Mo most people, most Americans are involved in stock market. Um, and obviously when we had that, you know, we don't want to say that word, but the C word, you know what I mean? The, right <laughs> you know the, the, the little the little flu that that hit us every everybody right, right. um everything everything dropped right everything you saw that across the whole map across um, the board yep across the board everything everything all over the world and you have to understand that like the the dow jones is directly correlated to bitcoin as of now um but slowly slowly it is decoupling and there's a very um there's a very important factor about Bitcoin that most people have to understand. And this is what I like to uh, express most of the time for somebody that does not know about cryptocurrency is that um, there is a, a finite supply of cryptocurrency, especially of Bitcoin. There's ever to be built, ever to be mined. So the way the reason why it's unhackable is because there's literally thousands of thousands on upon thousands of computers mining the same exact thing. So in order for your transaction to go through, that transaction has to go through every computer that exists on the planet. Wow. <laughs> you know what I mean? Wow. It, it's incredible. It, it's like a virus that cannot be stopped. It, right. you, it, it's oh, yeah. literally, uh, it's a living virus uh, that lives on the internet that you cannot stop nor can hack because it has to be validated by all these other computers. And if one says, oh no, there's something wrong here, it just, something won't, won't work. You know what I mean? Wow. Right. Before it wow. even happens. So there's a finite supply, which is the amount, the supply of Bitcoin, which is 21 million Bitcoin to be mined. At ever. this very moment, ever, ever possible on this planet. Right? Wow. <laughs> it's not and an infinite amount. amount. It's not an infinite supply, like some people think. Wow. Like the U.S. dollar, you know, that they could. There's a printer that just goes. Gary Gensler's out there just freaking printing like crazy. But the thing about crypto, man, and and, and Bitcoin, man, is just it's it's incredible that like there's only 21 million Bitcoin ever to be mined. And at this very moment, I'm looking at it right now. Uh, there are eight. When I first started, there was 17.7 million Bitcoins. Now there's 18.9 million Bitcoin. There's only two more million Bitcoin to be mined in the next probably 10 years. Um, but that last one Bitcoin is going to take up the amount of energy of all of the, the price of Bitcoin. So if Bitcoin is going to be at 
five million dollars within five years, two million dollars in five years, each Bitcoin, then it's gonna take that much amount of of money to mine just one that last one Bitcoin. Wow, you understand? Know that puts a smile that on one. my face to hear. Right, that. it's it's <laughs> yeah. crazy, brother. It's crazy. And when it gets there, everybody who I told, you know, that the. the the name of the game, if you have enough money to buy one Bitcoin, man, bless you. But the hey, name of the game is to accumulate little by little. You need to hack at it little by right. little. $20, $50. A lot of my family I hooked up their Coinbase account where it's just taking out $25 every two weeks. I don't need you to put $100,000. I just need you to grab a little by little because it's not an infinite supply of this. Right. You know, at the end of the day, if you got just that little bit of gold, Man, it's a it, it, it's it's beneficial for you and your family and generations to come. Yeah. Right. And, and that's a perfect Power. analysis. Uh, uh, that's a perfect analysis. If you get a little bit of that gold, that's I like I have a couple of bars, but if I get a little bit, digital you know gold, I mean? digital the, the Bitcoin is digital gold, baby. <laughs> yeah, and I remember back in the days when I remember the artist. Now I do uh, commercial work for Facebook. And I remember the artist that did a lot of their graphic spray painting, the graffiti that was considered art. The guy was, was getting paid in 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 uh, uh, in stocks uh, for Facebook. That's nice. That's you know, and he got paid for stocks. And when when that thing doubled and tripled in stock with Facebook, that kid that was an artist, he he said, "Ah, don't pay me. Just pay me in stocks." That dude was like a millionaire. Uh, I mean, he was worth like three hundred million bucks. Just well, I hope he stocks. sold. I hope he sold before last month because. Oh no, no, he did. He did. He cat. They did an article. They did a TV deal on this cat, and and when he, I think it was like a three hundred million, he cashed out. I, why wouldn't you cash out, right? I, I'm trying to learn the money game. Like I, I, my goal for me in the next five to six years, I want to try to make at least three to four mil. I'll take two of that mil. I'll drop it into a compound account. Uh, that'll pay me ten G's a month, and then I can chill with the rest of the money in the bank. You know. <laughs> Let's, let, let's talk about N, uh, uh, what is it? Uh, NTFs or NFTs? NFTs. NFTs. Okay, so these yeah. these NFTs. What, what the hell are NFTs? Explain that. A little bit. I let my boys uh, K Funes. You know what? I, I, I'd be lying to you if I knew. Uh, everything about NFTs, uh, but what the world has been introduced to, you know, if you ask anybody on the street what an NFT is, they're going to tell you it's a picture or some digital art or whatever. Uh, but I want to say that NFTs, uh, when it comes to that digital art, man, I feel like that's just at the tip of the iceberg. Uh, there's a lady in Florida who just put her uh, her mortgage contract her on house. the blockchain as an NFT, you know, mm -hmm. and she's going to be getting royalties. Let's just say she sells that house. Right. She put her contract on the blockchain as an NFT. Uh, let's just say she sells it and that person who she sold it to sold it, sells it to someone else. She's going to be able to get royalties on that contract because she put it onto the blockchain. How that happens exactly, I'm not really too sure. But uh, I can just tell you that the, the art part of it is just the tip of the iceberg when it comes to NFTs. Well, talk, uh, talk, I, talk about NFTs. What about Snoop Dogg taking him uh, his uh his death row records now uh taking them off stream and uh, creating some kind of nfts for his uh for his so thing that, you know that, that's what i was going to say so i believe nfts is going to be super big in web3 and i think it's going to be beneficial to artists so let's just say artists right they're going to be able to make uh merchandise as an nft you know let's just say instead of putting out these these shirts or whatever they can make like one out of ten you know, super rare copies of, you know, uh, photo art from the album or uh, like uh, super rare songs. They're going to be able to put it on the blockchain, make it a one of 10 or a one of one and sell it as an NFT like that. You know what I mean? And so this is all um, on the web. All on Web3, yeah. The, I, I believe that's to come in Web3. And I think Snoop Dogg just has really good investors and whoever the the team around him, I feel like they're super smart because they know that he has an image that can sell, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. So they're putting him out there like that, and he's just benefiting from all of this. So, you yeah. know, he's a, he's a big player for Sandbox. So when you have these people who don't really know about crypto or they hear about other things, um, uh, 
they talk about like buying land or something, the first thing I hear is, oh, well, I heard Snoop Dogg bought this land, you know, and I feel like that was kind of good to bring people into the space who really don't know, you know, and I right. feel like at that point, those people need to start educating themselves. Well, what is this? Why are these people buying this? Why is this piece of land selling for three, four million dollars? You really need to, you know, pay attention to why that, where, where the movie, where the money is going. You know, right. everybody wants yeah. money. We we sacrifice time. We wake up at 6 a.m. to go bust our ass, this, this, and that. If you're really that interested in sacrificing that for money, you need to educate yourself about money. What's behind it? Where is it going? You know what right. I mean? So, uh, sorry yeah. if I got a little bit off topic. But no, yeah. no. No, no. That's no. no. I mean, that, basically NFTs. I mean, that's another crypto stuff there, too. I mean, don't forget that. You know what I mean? I mean, NFTs is separate from crypto. Am I right? It, but it falls in the same mm. kind of atmosphere. Uh, I guess it's just, say, it's right? just another layer, bro. Right, There's right. so many layers right. to it. It's just one of the many layers to crypto. Because I know yeah. a lot of people get into NFTs, like my boy Cheese, uh, who, who who will be on the show pretty soon. Uh, he mines. He actually does a lot of mining. Um, yeah. And uh, he does crypto, too. And he, he does NFTs. And he's all into that stuff. So, I mean, a lot of people out there, they want to know about it. They, or, or they have uh, experience in that. So, I mean, kudos to you. I mean, um, I, I don't uh, think my son came to me. Really quick. My son came to me and says, hey, Dad, if you're going to get into this shit, don't get into NFTs. Don't get into NFTs. It's just useless. It's just, you know, I'm like, well, I I, I mean, I, I don't know anything about it yet. You know what I'm saying? I mean, there's a lot of people out there that don't know about NFTs and what they're all about. You know what I mean? Uh, so. Right. Go ahead. Yeah, I, I want to add. Uh, yeah, I want to add to that. Uh, so in my opinion, um, not in my opinion, but what it has been seen all across the board um, about NFTs which stands for a, a non-fungible token, whoever's you know listening that doesn't know the definition, right? The non-fungible token means pretty much it's written on the blockchain. Um, and once you write something on the blockchain, it's permanent. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like uh, it's, you can't take it off. It's kind of like, it, it, it's putting it on the web and you're putting it on your Instagram, but you just you try to delete it. But like, oh shit, it gets minted. <laughs> minted. It gets yeah. minted. Yeah, you're just, it's scribed for life. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. So, so you got to watch out what you put on Web three. Uh, in reality, like this is where it gets serious. The the yeah. first uh, Web two phase of the internet was uh, a trial. Uh, the, your the trial was up. The yeah. dot com boom, right? Yeah. So now this this is actual uh, ownership. The, that's this is why owner um, NFTs are gonna govern the future because of the reason of ownership. Let's just say you uh you want to sell me your house, and um you know you, you don't want to pay escrow, and, and you know most Americans whoever's listening right they um they want to buy houses they they strive to buy houses, but the escrow fee is about twelve thousand dollars six percent of of the real estate transaction. But what if you take away the escrow and you just say, let's just leave it to this technology called the blockchain to do to run this transaction for me. So you you do the transaction on the blockchain, it validates it for you. Somebody gives you the money and then it gets transferred ownership to somebody else in a picture of the house. Let's just say in NFT as of right now, this is why he says, you know, the tip of the iceberg, it's a picture. It's a picture of a monkey as of right now as an ape. So if that actually could represent something else, you know what I mean? It represents the ownership of the of the entire um, wh whatever it's written, whatever you want to transfer ownership with. You know what I mean? It's written on the blockchain and you don't need to open an escrow to validate that transaction because that person is like, oh, I don't know if he's going to give me the money or not. Well, it's written on the blockchain, so you can't stop it at that point. That's that's what it really stands for. It's the transfer of ownership. As of right now, we're yeah. just doing it with, with a bunch of pictures, but which yeah. is fun. <laughs> but that, that that's what it is. And and, and this sh everything that we're talking about, it's fucking. It's, it's tough to fathom. Bro. It, it, it's tough it's to crazy. fathom, it's man, crazy. because I I hear it and I don't understand it, but I know it's happening, right? I know what's going down. I see shit. I see guys making loot, and I got to get my piece, but I also got to do my time. I got to do my time in the game and I got to learn it, you, you, but it's tough. You man. also, you also got to believe that more importantly, you have to right. believe in what you are buying. Right. Like if you don't know what you are buying, then 
you're just going to sell it off early, let's just say. And, and right. you know, I'm projecting Bitcoin is going to 5 million, but you may not have the same vision as me because I have the conviction because I understand the crypto space and I and I see that Bitcoin is only it's very scarce. So right. what if what if you can't get any more? Like th there's a saying, there's a quote that, that says one of the most important quotes that, in crypto that I, I believe I've heard is um, I rather have a Bitcoin and not need one then need a bitcoin and not have one so right that, that's, right that's it's it's very powerful man like yeah what if what, what if all the lights go off and you have no no electricity no power um yeah. and, and or and you have to transfer some money man like you know what i mean like shit can happen man shit, shit goes south <laughs> yeah. hey we don't want to think about this shit right now we don't want to think oh, about it <laughs> <hell no>. <laughs> <laughs> we went from wallets we went to you know how do you understand these graphs, though? I mean, like you really have to get, and I, and I'm, I'm, I'm guessing gains, like, like Vanessa was saying, you, you pretty know a lot about when it comes down to these graphs and stuff. When I get into it, I, I got into the VR room with you guys. I saw the graphs. I was amazed. I was like, what? <laughs> All this shit you going up. Lines. You know I mean? All, you All these lines. lines. Yeah, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, I'm literally, literally a fucking oh, retard on this shit, dude. So. <laughs> When I look at this, I try telling Brown, hey, Brown, what, what the fuck are we, what the, what am I looking at, man? Listen, I just asked a friend today. I said, hey, um, where do I go? He said, oh, no, this was Nash. Nash told me to uh, look at um, something Geico or Coin Geico. Coin Gecko. Gecko, yeah, yes. Coin Gecko. Okay, so explain. Yep. Coin Gecko is another kind of uh, graph website that you can go and look at uh all the all, all the stuff that's going on in crypto world right make well, that, that your that's friend. kind of like make gecko your friend make it your friend yeah. <laughs> put that coin on your zero, fucking zero. bookmark that shit <laughs> <laughs> yeah yeah no seriously coin gecko coin gecko is very powerful too man i mean the, the thing about coin so coin gecko it'll tell you how many coins there are as well right now as of right now there's eighteen thousand three hundred coins i mean when i started there was seven thousand coins wow <laughs> yeah it's wow. it's grown like crazy but that that's has all the list of all the coins there so yeah bookmark that yeah, yeah book that so I, I also, i'm looking at it huh? right now i'm looking at all the shit on it the crap the last seven like i was talking to flip today he goes well how do you know when it's time to buy i said i don't know but if i look at a fucking graph and i take it back six months and he goes oh no but it dropped seven percent i go yeah but that's in one day you can't look at it that <laughs> you got to open that fucking thing up and you gotta go that exactly. Oh, man, I'm about history. to jump on this shit. I'm He's serious. I'm like, I'm like, dude, I see that shit went down five, six percent. I'm jumping on it. And then, and then Brown's like, no, man, you got to look at the whole aspect of the whole shit, yeah, man. Yeah. You know, I'm it's like, kinda, it's kind of oh, like an index. Oh, you know, like right? You can look at a thing. You can look yeah. at what coins uh, yeah. have been there. You know, one through a hundred, one to a thousand. You can click on whatever coin you're interested in. It'll tell you. Right. It'll show you the graph. It'll tell you the whole history of it. It'll right. give you a link to its website. It'll give you uh, the the coin's contract, which you can copy and paste and actually check for its other information in other places. It basically yeah. gives you the four one one on that project coin. Coin Gecko. Coin Gecko. Dot com. Coin Gecko. Yeah. Gecko. Coin Market Cap. Coin Gecko. Okay. And what yeah. was the other one you said? Coin Market Cap. Coin Market Cap. Okay, yep. coin market cap. They essentially do the same thing. You know, uh, some people like more one than another, but I, I use both of them. And, 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 you know, one of the things that... So let me get... I, let me let it loose, guys. Hold on one second. You guys at home, make sure you subscribe and hit the like button because we're, we're giving out these, uh, you know, information to you guys. But please take it with a grain of salt. You know, do your own research. This is, We don't give you or provide you any financial advice. This is on your own. If you want to go and do your own research, please do so. My two boys right here joining us. Uh, you know, very interesting guys. Funes. Or fu what is it? Funes? Funes. Funes. And Funes. my boy Gaines, you know, in the VR in the VR world here, we met. He, uh, we met him in the Oculus, uh, you know, um, social network. And they're here talking about crypto crypto i mean for dummies i'm telling you i'm a dummy on this shit so you guys learn this shit you know like subscribe it and uh follow them i'll you know I'll, I'll drop some stuff in the description uh you know helpful stuff links and stuff like that brown i mean you know a little bit about this more than me dude i, I mean know. Well, you know more well, than I, me brown well, 
I, I, well, I know how to do a little bit of research, but I'll tell you, I, I was just going to bring up another thing that uh, that that Funes told me. He said there is a, an event in the Bay Area, right, Funes? Remember you told me about that? Yeah, and, it's the blo- it's the second blockchain expo. Uh, it's the only one in North America. Uh, they have it in different parts of the world. So this is the only one in North America, and it's coming to Silicon Valley, of course. But yeah, you can check it out. Oh, it's the okay. Blockchain Expo out here in Santa Clara, Silicon Valley. Yeah, and I that's where we're at, baby. One, that one, yeah, and I went to the first one, man, and uh, I was super overwhelmed because I really didn't know what was happening, but I knew it was a lot of techies in there, and I knew if they were in there soaking all this game up, I was in the right place because that's yeah. where the money's at, man. So, you know, you got to follow the money, man. Right, right. I, I thank you for that because I'm going to – now, listen, I, I, I'm a busy man. If I ain't in Cabo, I'm in Costa Rica. If I ain't in Costa Rica – You're on that Harley, huh? I'm on that Harley. If I ain't on that Harley, <laughs> <laughs> I'm in Hawaii. But I'll tell you because I'm trying to enjoy my – I only got a few years left. I'm an old son of a bitch. My man but travels I, so much. He travels more than I change my underwear, man. Come on. <laughs> this dude. I'm trying to get it in, man. I'm, I'm a, I'm a solo trying. cholo. <laughs> <laughs> But I, but I, I hope I can make this blockchain. I'll, I'll move shit around because uh, that expo. Because uh, dude, it's so important, man. Once again, knowledge is power, man. And my boys here, they got a shit ton of knowledge, and they got a good group of guys. Uh, from these two to Maddie to you know all the guys like the the, the guy that you mentioned, Flip. Yeah, shout um, out to Matt, man. Yeah, Matt, cool cat, man. He was kind of. Yeah, yeah, he's helping me out. All the guys there, man. Throw the names out, uh, Funes. You know the cats. Throw them out there so when people see them. If, if they watch this shit, uh, my boy Super Nacido, Starfire, Chill Chum, uh, man, I don't know, Pooley, everybody in the Cafe Crypto VR Telegram, man. All my people, man. Yep, yep. How about yours? How about yours, Gaines? Who do you got, Gaines? Throw some names, hey. baby. Ah, man, listen, I'm not good with names, man, but th- there's a whole bunch of people out there, bro. But, all right, you, all right. You, you just, you just got to tap in. You just got to tap in and find out for yourself, man. That's it. <laughs> there you go. There you go. Well, you guys at home, you guys, yeah. I, I thank you. I appreciate it. Make sure you drop a like and hit that subscribe button. Share us. My boy, Funes, and Gaines on the fucking on the screen here guys thank you yeah. for coming out really really appreciate it my boy brown right here crypto for dummies guys segment two guys check it out drop a like again my boy we'll do thank another you. one we'll, we'll, do, another yeah, we'll do another one we'll definitely do another one yeah. after brown comes back from cabo and then he's got another trip <laughs> to hawaii so you know we'll work the schedule right there you know what i mean uh. Again, my boys, thank you for coming out and sharing this Appreciate information it, for all our so social love. people. You know what I'm saying? Hey, you guys hey, you at can home. Follow us on socials. Uh, if you want, uh, yeah, you can follow us on Instagram. Uh, follow me on Instagram, Fidel underscore underscore Escobar. So Fidel underscore IG. Escobar. There you go. You guys Fidel have it. Underscore, underscore. We'll so put we'll everything in we'll everything in the link for you guys. So. Till then, we'll see you guys in the next.